Bell Helicopters has unveiled a dedicated entry into the United States Army's Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft FARA, program through its Model 360 Invictus. The design of this helicopter showcases stealth qualities not unlike the ultimately abandoned U.S. Army's Ra-66 Comanche Armed Scout Stealth Helicopter of the 2000s but brings about all modern, digitally driven solutions to the battlefield that include mature stealth capabilities, inherent weapons modularity, enhanced agility through digital fly-by-wire, FBW, controlling, and excellent straight-line performance. The helicopter takes on a wholly sleek appearance with special attention paid to reducing external protrusions. A slight chine line is featured running the length of the fuselage. Bell Marketing Materials state an operating crew of two, gunner and pilot, with a cruising speed of 180 knots, 207 miles per hour, and a range out to 135 nautical miles, 155 miles not including 90 minutes on station. An integrated supplemental power unit, SPU, aboard the aircraft will provide additional boost, dash speed capabilities as well as auxiliary power for ground running actions, such as maintenance. Handling is enhanced by the same system trialed and proven aboard two other impressive Bell projects, the Model 525 Relentless and V280 Valor helicopters. An integral triplex redundant system aids in handling of the rotor craft reducing crew workload and adding autonomy. The nose assembly will house the optics set as well as a chin mounted and powered 20mm 3 barreled automatic cannon capable of defeating certain classes of armor. The crew of two is seated in stepped tandem, with the weapons specialist positioned in the forward cockpit and the pilot at the rear cockpit. The stepped nature of this arrangement, a proven quality in modern attack helicopters, allows both crewmen relatively excellent vision out of the cockpit. Entry to each position is through dedicated, hinged doors found along port side. Over midships of the fuselage is seated the four-bladed main rotor unit which sports a low mast keeping the hub close to the fuselage roof. The engines are embedded in the fuselage proper in a typical side-by-side -side arrangement with attention being given to the intake and exhaust ports of each power plant, the result is a further reduction of radar, heat signatures. The sides of the aircraft are home to a pair of extended length wing main planes which are intended to not only share lift loads but can also support an optional external hardpoint for up to four missiles each side. However, the primary weapons delivery system of this helicopter is an internal arrangement which sees a twin missile launcher emerge from the sides of the belly, another stealth feature of this helicopter. In total, the helicopter could field up to 12 armor-defeating guided missiles or a mix ordnance load including gun, cannon pods and rocket pods. The tail unit incorporates a traditional single finned arrangement though the seven-bladed tail rotor unit is shrouded in a fenestron housing, this not only reducing operating noises but also protecting the fragile fins from ground debris and enemy fire to an extent. Vertical fins are present along the tail steam, held outboard by short-span horizontal planes. For ground running, the helicopter will make use of a traditional tail dragger undercarriage that is designed to be wholly retractable, preserving the airborne stealth qualities of the helicopter. Power is set to come from the mandated 3000 horsepower General Electric Aviation XD901 series turboshaft engine announced on July 18, 2019. The listed payload for the helicopter is 1400 pounds.